Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our devotional thought comes from 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. And it says, But I discipline my body and make it my slave, so that after I preach to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Let's bow our heads, our Father God. Speak your words. Give us your wisdom this morning. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. But I discipline my body, make it my slave, so that after I preach to others, I myself may not be disqualified. Brothers and brothers, uh, sisters, as I read this, I, I, I find this text so real. You see, I, I love reading Paul's writing because Paul understood the struggle. And Paul said, listen, I got to make sure that I am disciplined. I got to at least, I got to make my body my slave. Because, yes, I'm going all around preaching and teaching the Word of God. But I do not want to be disqualified myself. Why did he say this? Because, brothers and sisters, when we surrender our lives to God, not just our minds, we have to surrender our bodies. Paul used the terminology, i got to make it my slave. Many of us are slaves to our own passions. Many people are led by, led by the passions they have, whether it's eating or drinking or, or, or other types of things. Folks, we cannot be slaves to our hungers and our thirst and our lust and our passions. That's why Paul said, listen, i got to ask God to discipline my body. Because I can do all the preaching. I can do all the teaching. But I can, and, 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 and many can be led to Christ. But because I did not allow God, I did not surrender, I surrendered my mind. But I did not surrender my body. And I don't want to be disqualified myself. And brothers and sisters, sometimes that takes prayer every day. Because Lord, you know my, my, Lord, you know my weaknesses. Lord, you know what entices me. That's not like, that's not of you. So, Lord, I need you to, 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 to enslave my passions. Lord, I need, to, uh, I need you to allow me to become master of my body so that I'm not led by my impulses. So I'm not led by my wants and my desires. We well, see many great men and women fall because they were led by their passions. And folks, that's something for all of us. It's not just you. All of us can be, can, can be led down that road. None of us are too high and mighty that, 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 we are, that, that we no longer have passions that try to go against the will of God. That's why every day we have to ask God, Lord, I don't want to be a slave to my body. Lord, I don't want to be a slave to my passions, to my desires, to my lust. Oh yeah, I can do all the right things. I can preach, I can teach. But if I am just continuing to be led by my passion, by my body, I could find myself being disqualified. What a shame it would be. So but this is my prayer this morning for all of us is that we will allow God to enslave all of us. Our mind, our body. Lord, purify my thoughts. Lord, I, I want to get to the point where even my, my desires are in line with you. Lord, help me to be disciplined. Because I don't want to be disqualified. Our Father God, Lord, we pray to you this morning. God, I pray that we will not just only just do the right things. Yes, we want to preach, we want to teach, we want to, we want to witness. But God, help us not to ignore our own condition. And God, help us to surrender all of us to you, our witnesses. Because God, 
But we don't want to be slaves to anything down here, even to our own desires, but only to you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters.